am always a fan of championing new independent artists who are forging their way on their own. Wow. It's not an easy route, but you can reap the rewards. And um, Ren certainly deserves it. I've seen some amazing work by him and Chinchilla as well. Vocals. I love this interesting vibrato. It's almost like a classical vibrato, but it's a little bit less um, open and low larynx, so that you get this uh, kind of folky vibe, I want to say. It sounds almost like a ghost. Um, or it has a kind of vintage, timeless appeal and feels very, very haunting. Um, now this I think has been put together on Ren's YouTube channel, he also does all the editing and everything, you know, um, when you have a YouTube channel you have to do everything yourself a lot of the time, not, you know, I do have an editor for these videos but I do think that you end up having to do a lot of work behind the scenes that people don't even realise, um, there is a lot to do in terms of legality, there's a lot to do in terms of editing, planning, organising, you have to buy all the equipment yourself um, and it can be quite expensive and you have to put out a big outlay and just hope that stuff will come together and um, he's on it, and he's smashing it. I don't feel safe in this bed. There are voices in my head. I've been talking to the dead and the fear baptized me. My kingdom turned to dust, and I watched all my riches rust. Have I lost the mightest touch, or do sad eyes blind me? Over and over we go, over the hills and the valleys below. Oh, and it follows me, follows me home, and it suffocates me. I love how they're going between octaves, singing in octaves, so they're essentially singing the same thing um, and then moving into harmony, it makes this really intertwining feeling, it's like they are feeling the same thing and, and then suddenly they're kind of expressing it in their own individual ways, but it's so interesting, I love how precise it is. So, okay. Me. I love that. I love the intertwining vibratos that they have that are both quite fast and um, they're using all the way through the notes. I love the staccato, the use of rhythm, it making you feel like, like, you know, that it reminds me of the feeling of, of hyperventilation, I suppose. No, oh. I can't breathe. Oh, wow. Let's go back to that. Okay, I'm going to listen through it, but I love to just go from an mm, it adds that tension, just opening your mouth, making it into like, like you can't scream. Um, it kind of reminds me of having night terrors when you can't, you can't let your, uh, you're trying to scream, but you can't, and then you do it at the end. So let's go back to like 1 minute 34. Me. Me. I said, oh, I can't breathe, all I know. That run. Is I forgot how this is to so be. I don't 
feel safe in these holes. I'm going to stop here and let them listen to a swave and I, I really encourage you to go I've got a link down in the description to go and listen to it in one swathe because there's so much emotionally going on um but this is so beautiful uh, they must have practiced a long time because it's so intricate in terms of the rhythms the stops the starts the staccatos um where they're placing everything is spot on and this is live this is live this is live. I just want to say it one more time. Um, I think most of the things that Ren puts up on his channel is live and that is rare and most people are really produced and um, I, th I think there's a weird new world coming about actually that we kind of moved away from live but when people are using social media and you have your TikTok on your phone and you have things like that you don't have much opportunity to be able to edit so you have to kind of do it enough times um, when I've done my own TikToks, I'll do it a few times and then um, get it how I like it and rehearse it and then sing it. And I think that that is uh, kind of going back to the old ways of doing things, which is really, really nice. And uh, I think that these people really, really appreciate the artistry of, of vocals and creation. And can we just talk about that run that they did? that was dead on together. I mean, all I can say is fantastic. There are bruises on the walls. There are bodies in the floors. And they breathe so loudly. I wish I could move. Get up and walk right out this tomb. Do our saviors die too soon? For my sins surround me Over and over we go Over the hills and the valleys below Always be follows me Follows me Follows me Follows me Suffocates me Again, I'm loving how they're using literally a round but with slight adaptations of the melody and um it gives you this intertwining feeling of going over and over like you would if you were singing around and then them coming together for them both feeling completely suffocated. Now, um, I think Ren wrote this and he um, has dealt with these mental health issues. So it, it comes from life, which makes it even more beautiful and authentic to feel like this really, it has been a truth that Ren has lived and um, it's beautiful to see his music because I feel I feel like he's really bringing awareness to a subject in a way that's so visceral, in a way that makes you understand how it feels. Often people can be like, oh, I don't know what's going on here and they don't really understand, but you can't help but understand because of the way that he's expressing this. His use of language is so, um, it's so clear yet so nuanced. And I love that. Oh, here we go again. I can't breathe. I said, oh, I can't breathe. What I know is I forgot how to be me. Hallelujah. Where is my God? Where are you? Well, in the middle of that, my camera died. It's too hot here. It couldn't deal with the heat and it couldn't deal with the emotion. So, um, let's get back into it. When I don't know how to be, hallelujah, I forgot how to be me. When he gave up the fight, a quick decision late in the night that stayed with me for all of my life i miss you so You know, it's really interesting to hear um, a song by Ren that is fully sung, a lot of the stuff is rapped and um, 
he is so talented with lyrics and poetry. Her vocals are phenomenal. And the combination of the two of them just makes something that is truly beautiful, truly skillful, and truly remarkable. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.